hunter-gatherers in the Paleolithic Age. Historians call the early period of human history the Stone Age. They do this because it was the time when people used stone to make tools and weapons. The earliest part of this period was the Paleolithic Age. In Greek, Paleolithic means Old Stone. Therefore, the Paleolithic Age is also called the Old Stone Age. The Paleolithic Age began about 2.5 million years ago and lasted until about 8,000 BC. Remember, that is about 4,500 years earlier than recorded time, which starts about 5,500 years ago. Surviving in the Paleolithic Age Try to imagine what life was like during the Paleolithic Age. Think about living in a time long before any roads, farms, or villages existed. Paleolithic people often moved around in search of food. They were nomads, or people who regularly moved from one place to another to survive. They traveled in groups or bands of about 20 or 30 members. Paleolithic people survived by hunting and gathering. The search for food was their main activity, and it was often difficult. They had to learn which animals to hunt and which plants to eat. Paleolithic people hunted buffalo, bison, wild goats, reindeer, and other animals, depending on where they lived. Along coastal areas, they fished. These early people also gathered wild nuts, berries, fruits, wild grains, and green plants. Finding food. Paleolithic men and women performed different tasks within the group. Men, not women, hunted large animals. They often had to search far from the camp. Men had to learn how animals behaved and how to hunt them. They had to develop tracking methods. At first, men used clubs or drove the animals off cliffs to kill them. Over time, however, Paleolithic people developed tools and weapons to help them hunt. The traps and spears they made increased their chances of killing their prey. Women stayed close to the camp, which was often located near a stream or other body of water. They looked after the children and searched nearby woods and meadows for berries, nuts, and grains. Everyone worked to find food, because it was the key to the group's survival. Some scientists believe that an equal relationship existed between Paleolithic men and women. It is likely that both made decisions that affected the band or group. Some evidence suggests that some men and women may have hunted in monogamous pairs. This means that a man and a woman worked together to find food for themselves and their children. Such groupings became the first families. The Invention of Tools Culture is a way of life for a group of people who share similar beliefs and customs. The methods Paleolithic people used to hunt and gather their food were part of their culture, as were the tools they used. Technology, tools, and methods to perform tasks was first used by Paleolithic people. Before this time, sticks, stones, and tree branches served as tools. Later, people made devices from a hard stone called flint. Have you ever imagined how difficult it would be to prepare or eat food without a cutting tool? Paleolithic people learned that by hitting flint with another hard stone, the flint would flake into pieces. These pieces had very sharp edges that could be used for cutting. Hand axes, for example, were large pieces of flint tied to wooden poles. Flint technology was a major breakthrough for early peoples. Over time, early people made better, more complex tools. Spears and bows and arrows made killing large animals easier. Harpoons or spears with sharp points and fish hooks increased the number of fish caught. Early humans used sharp edged tools to cut up plants and dig roots. They used scraping tools to clean animal hides, which they used for clothing and shelter. By the end of the Paleolithic age, people were making smaller and sharper tools. They crafted needles from animal bones to make nets and baskets and to sew hides together for clothing. This technology had far-reaching effects. It drove the development of more advanced farming tools and influenced where people settled. Changing to survive. Climate affected how Paleolithic people lived. Some early people lived in cold climates and made clothing from animal skins to stay warm. They sought protection in available natural shelters such as caves and rock overhangs. Remember, there were no houses or apartment buildings as we know them in the Paleolithic Age. Gradually, humans learned to make their own shelters. People constructed tents and huts of animal skins, brush, and wood. In very cold climates, some people made shelters from ice and snow. In regions where wood was scarce, Paleolithic people used large bones from dead woolly mammoths or hairy elephant-like animals to build frames or shelters. 
They then covered the bones with animal hides. People living in warmer climates, on the other hand, needed little clothing or shelter. For the purposes of safety and comfort, however, many lived in caves and huts. These shelters provided protection against attacks by large animals. Fire Sparks Changes Life became less difficult for Paleolithic people once they discovered how to make fire. People learned that fire provided warmth in cold caves. It provided light when it was dark and could be used to scare away wild animals. Armed with spears, hunters could also use fire to chase animals from bushes to be killed. Eventually, people gathered around fires to share stories and to cook. Cooked food, they discovered, tasted better and was easier to chew and digest. In addition, meat that was smoked by fire did not have to be eaten right away and could be stored. How did people learn to use fire? Archaeologists believe early humans produced fire by friction. They learned that by rubbing two pieces of wood together, the wood became heated and charred. When the wood became hot enough, it caught fire. Paleolithic people continued rubbing wood together, eventually developing drill-like wooden tools to start fires. They also discovered that a certain stone, iron pyrite, gave off sparks when struck against another rock. The sparks could then ignite dry grass or leaves, another way to start a fire.